YouTube, Dante Lewis here with another episode of Beat Nerd TV. In this video, I would like to go over some advanced MIDI techniques. There are tons of MIDI generators out there, whether it's built into the MIDI controller you own or if you're using some type of plugin like I'm using today. Um, I'm using Cthulhu, but they have tons of them, like the native instruments keyboards do it now. Um, they have, like I said, Cthulhu, uh, Captain Chord, Scalar. And I guess the simplest way to explain what I'm talking about is it allows you to hit one key on your keyboard and it'll play a chord for you. And that's really cool and useful, but it does limit you because you don't have full control over that chord outside of the single note you either play or draw in. So it, it does limit you in a sense. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract those full chords uh, if you're in a situation like that where you want to maybe humanize the the chords a little bit more or share the the MIDI sequence for collaboration. So they have this plugin from Audio CR called MIDI Effects Freeze. And I'm pulling mine up now. And it's free, by the way, and I'll have the link so you can download it in the description, of course. And what it does is it takes the information from either the keyboard or the software and makes a, a, a MIDI, I guess, timestamp of it and allows you to do whatever you want with it at, at that point. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. Really just one step you just go ahead and arm it here and you do that by clicking a little button in the center and i always recommend um, before you run it you scale your playback a little bit more just to make sure it doesn't miss anything so i'll always back up my my playhead marker a little bit then go ahead and run it so we'll go ahead and back it up and you'll see it run and here in the center here where it says uh right under midi effect freeze you'll start to see the midi notes start to get generated here we go. All right, so nothing complex, just a very basic chord progression. And what I'll do is I'll drag the MIDI to the VST I have below. And as you can see, it took those single notes here and made full chords out of them. Now you see the velocity of all of these chords are pretty much the same. So it sounds kind of robotic. So this is why something like this is useful. You can actually adjust the velocity or if you're using logic, you can actually just humanize the chords. They have a function. So if you go into here to functions, MIDI transform, humanize, It'll pull up this option where you can, you know, adjust these parameters to taste, hit select and operate. And as you can see, it does adjust it. And of course, the more you fool with the parameters, the more you can make it sound a little bit more human. I won't go into that too much, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can get more out of these uh, MIDI generators and just playing those keys that are pretty much uh, static and robotic. And you can, you know, edit, take shit out, or, you know, pretty much do whatever you want to do once you have the full MIDI course to your disposal. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or just want to say what's up, or again, want to correct me on something, 
definitely leave it in the comments below. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Peace. Yo, yo.